Welcome back to Reimagine 2020. I'm Jonah Hockhauser, and this is everything you need to know about the cryptosphere in 90 seconds or less for November 12th, powered by Multi.io. Dude, I bet you a million dollars you're wrong. It's the classic fake bet between friends when they're sure the other is incorrect. But in the world of crypto whales, they really mean it. Eric Wald, chief investment officer of crypto hedge fund Arcane Assets, put a $1 million bet offer that the stock to flow model that predicts Bitcoin price will hit 100,000 by the end of 2021 is wrong. He's so confident that he claims it won't even hit half of that. Hey Eric, I would take you up on your bet, but I'm $999,999 short. President-elect Joe Biden has picked Gary Gensler to lead his financial policy transition team. Gary is a former head of the CFTC, but in recent years been heavily interested in cryptocurrencies. He's testified before Congress multiple times in the past about cryptocurrencies and blockchain, downplaying comparisons to scams, and highlighting their unique potential for change. Let's hope that Biden continues to surround himself with crypto-friendly people when he takes office. Do you shit your pants like I do every time you send a transaction on the blockchain due to fear that you send it to the wrong address, the wrong deposit contract, or just the man in the middle attack? Well, fear no more. Kurobo, an Israeli-based startup, Represent, has announced their retrievable transfer service for Ether transfers. It works by giving the sender a password for each transaction, and the transaction is reversed if the password isn't then inputted by the receiver. It works with any wallet powered by the Wallet Connect protocol, such as MetaMask, and the company expects to support all ERC-20 tokens in the future. For Reimagine 2020, I'm Yona Hockhauser. That was everything you need to know in 90 seconds. Make sure to check back here for all the latest blockchain news, interviews, and more. Peace!